Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A beautiful day, the rain and the showers and everything else that we saw across the Mid-South gone for the last couple of days, so we're not seeing any problems with anything in the way of rainfall coming up as we go into the next several hours, but we will see that potential for more chances for showers and thunderstorms into the weekend. Yes, there's a possibility of rain and maybe some thunder. No, there is nothing showing up in the way of an interruption for the weekend activities out there. So that's really good news across the entire area. Add to that, there is going to be looking into the extended forecast, the possibility of maybe some more activity coming up late next week as we go out of the month of April and change over to May. So looking again at some fairly quiet conditions for right now, but also again seeing that possibility of maybe some more interruptions going into the next month. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Plus, we'll take a look at more of your weather pictures. And if you've got weather pictures out there to share, we want to share them for you. So if you've got anything like that, please pass them along to me. Again, social media information at the bottom of your screen on the red bar scrolling on by, or you can go to, again, uh, my websites, again, social media here, and contact me at austin.onic at wrhe.com if you just prefer to email them the old-fashioned way. Hard to believe we're thinking about emails old-fashioned these days, but there it is. If you got weather reports out there, please drop them into the comments section. Let's see what's going on around the area, like Dustin Brumfield from Smithville, Mississippi, fellow amateur radio operator, 73 to you as well. 73 is an amateur radio greeting. 62 is the temperature in Smithfield, Mississippi, and sunny conditions there. Thank you very much uh, for that one, and welcome to everybody else who's checking in uh, so far this morning. Rest of the weekend, again, not too bad. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit. In the meantime, here's a quick check of what it looks like for the forecast uh, into around the rest of the day today. Should be a very pleasant Friday. Tons of sunshine out there. No problems being detected in the Mid-South for today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, looks pretty good. No problems whatsoever out there for now. It could be a lot warmer out there. Again, plenty of sunshine. We could easily be back in the mid to upper 80s under conditions like this. But here's the thing. Rest of the day, these northwesterly winds are going to be coming in from off the Rockies and out of southern Canada, and that's going to do a pretty good job of dropping our numbers. So we could be in the mid-80s, lower to mid-70s is about as good as it gets as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So we should see, again, the potential for less in the way of rainfall for now, but more in the chances of very nice weather for right for today, at least. Not really looking at too much of any problems out there for uh, the rest of the day today, so looking pretty good. Antonio Parks, uh, Marion, Arkansas, 59 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report. Uh, where to go? Scroll left me on the screen there. Hang on for just one second here. Uh, beautiful skies, beautiful in Atoka, Mima Melly. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report there. And Maidon, Tennessee. Hope I'm saying that correctly. I always uh, have a trouble with that name. Greg Rivers, 57 degrees in Maidon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, thank you very much for that. Fane Cook, beautiful in Halls, Tennessee. Thank you very much as well for that. Quick check of some of the webcams around the Mid South area. Ole Miss campus at the track and field facility. Few joggers and strollers out and about for this morning, catching some of those early morning rays. Beautiful in Oxford. Another college view from the Weather Underground Camera Network at Rhodes College. Blue skies looking back to the northwest. Sunlight striking the buildings. Beautiful day out at Rhodes College for right now. From Olive Branch, Mississippi, from former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard in around on the Weather Underground Camera Network as well, showing again some blue skies looking back to the northwest. 55 degrees at the Olive Branch Airport for this morning, and that's about 8 degrees cooler than what it was about 24 hours ago. So a little bit brisk, and those winds out of the northwest at about 10 miles per hour. Currently in Germantown, just after classes get going at Germantown High School, back out of the picture frame here, and looking back toward around Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, and the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall out on the horizon. Currently back in the mid to upper 50s. Winds again a little breezy at this location as well at City Hall in Germantown. The Mississippi River has again been going upwards thanks to a lot more rain and of course that snow melt finally becoming to going to an end for just a little bit. We'll continue to see the river going back upwards again, but it should be cresting 
right about 33 feet or so as we go toward next week. Now, why is this significant? Well, right now, again, we are expecting a big downturn, but rain and all that snow melt continuing north of us is doing a good job of pushing the river level back upwards again. Also, if you're planning a trek over Big River Crossing and using those pathways to get from West Memphis, Arkansas to downtown Memphis, Tennessee and back each direction, you cannot go across here because, again, the river levels uh, making things dangerous for the crossers, for anybody going across that area or there. So if you're planning on going a big river crossing, the western gate here is closed, so you will not be able to go from West Memphis, Arkansas to Memphis, Tennessee until these river levels drop once again. So if you're planning an excursion out there to go see the river from above, you can get out across the area here. You just can't go all the way back and forth, unfortunately, for right now. Travel by air this morning is not seeing any problem. Live view from our Memphis International Airport area camera, 240 and airways, tower, terminal, and runways looking very nice for right now under sunny skies. No delays to report this morning. And a few delays starting to show up. Newark uh, showing again in New Jersey some delays of 45 minutes plus and delays of about 15 minutes thanks to some weather delays taking place at LaGuardia in New York. Any more information about this via the FAA, check in at their website at fly.faa.gov for more. There's the storm system we've been watching over the course of the last couple of days and it is going to again be working its way out of the picture throughout the course of the rest of the day today and moving its way up and into the northern Atlantic. So this will not be a threat for us for right now. Meanwhile, in the Mid-South, we have little, if anything, showing up at this time in the way of rainfall. So the umbrella windshield wipers will not be necessary this time. Our next storm system is already coming into view, coalescing out around the panhandles and portions of the desert southwest. That's going to be slowly working its way our direction and because this is moving in from off the desert and it's not going to engage with a lot of moisture here, it's not going to give us the best chance of anything involving rainfall. There will be some rain and thunder this weekend, but really just not looking at a lot of problems out there. So looks pretty good for the time being, but we'll continue to watch this. And our next storm system beyond this one is already en route and it's going to be making its way into the Mid-South for our forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Brisk this morning, temperatures again dropping into the mid to upper 50s to around the lower 60s. And we'll continue again to see some mild conditions later on today. Jacket would not be a bad idea for this morning as we see again temperatures back. A little cool out there, but pretty close to normal. A little breezy at times. Memphis International showing winds of about 10 miles per hour this morning. All right, let's run the numbers and show you what we've got throughout the rest of the morning. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at noon. Lower 70s by the time you pick the kids up from school today. Those moving lines on screen. Excuse me, showing again those winds coming in from out of the northwest. Those are coming in right off of southern Canada. So that's going to do a very good job of keeping our temperatures down by just a little bit. Looking magnificent for outdoor activities today, tonight, and into very early tomorrow. So dinner time tonight in the mid-70s. News Channel 3 at 10, upper 50s to lower 60s, and very early tomorrow morning, temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s with the cloud cover moving through. The gray colors again showing the clouds moving in first, and then more rainfall coming through late on Saturday. Light showers at first moving into very dry air. It's doubtful that this is going to affect us until again about late Saturday evening or so. Beautiful Friday. No problem at all. Hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy it for today. Mid-70s coming up. Sunny, very dry conditions out there. Mid to upper 70s. And again, chances of showers and thunderstorms will be greatest by dinner time Saturday. Could linger into very early Sunday morning, but we're keeping these partly cloudy icons on here because the main threat is going to be, again, right from Saturday evening to Sunday morning. Early Saturday, late Sunday that looks fine. So it's not a weekend washout. It looks very nice otherwise. Now, Monday looks pretty good, getting the temperatures up by just a little bit, back to around 80 degrees. And then temperatures going back into the upper 70s to the lower 80s as we head throughout the rest of next week. Then we see a new cold front arrive. This one is going to be slowly making its way into the Mid-South. Chances of showers and thunderstorms by Tuesday increasing as we go throughout the rest of the week. So if you have outdoor plans, 
Monday and early Tuesday will be your best bet. And then cooling off a little bit as those rain chances continue as we go into next week. Again, not a total washout, but enough to make certain that outdoor activities continue to monitor what goes on out there. And again, pretty mild into the early part of May, too. So hopefully that gives your uh, air conditioning system a bit of a break and your utility bill a bit of a knock as well. So we don't see too much in the way of very hot weather very soon across the Mid-South. So we got some pretty good news coming up into and around the area. Good morning to everybody checking in across the Mid-South for this morning. Thanks for dropping on by. Sunny, breezy day in Memphis. Lisa Hinton, thank you very much for that. Uh, Rick Caldwell from Pickwick, thank you very much for checking on through for this morning, and good morning to everybody else uh, in the Mid-South for right now. B. Nassel, thank you very much for a nice view, not from him, but from Lisa Nassel for a nice view of Easter Sunday sunset from Rosemark, Tennessee. Beautiful view showing up there, so thank you very much for that one on Twitter. And from D. Sager 001 from Medina, Tennessee, Beautiful view of, again, a nice shot of a sun halo from last week. Again, fairly uh, rare view to see something like this, at least a complete halo out there and as distinct as this. So kind of nice atmospheric optics to be able to take a look at. If you've got weather pictures that you would like to share around the Mid-South or wherever you happen to be, send them along to us, tweet them to me, post them on my Facebook page, scroll by on Instagram, or once again, if you've got the opportunity, if you just want to email it, send it along to me at austin.onic at wreg.com, and would love to have you along for the ride. Just about two months until Asteroid Day. It is a effort by the United Nations to raise awareness about asteroids going through the solar system. We know about 650,000 of them. We've charted them. We know their location. We know their, their direction, things like that. It's the ones we don't know about that should be a concern to all of us because they could be, some of them could be a threat to our entire existence here on this planet. So if you'd like to know more about this, asteroidday.org, and we'll be bringing you updates on that as we get closer to the time frame on there. Coming up this Saturday evening at Village Creek Park in Wynn, Arkansas, the Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding a star party, a public observing session for you to be able to look through their telescopes and see some of the nighttime objects out there. We won't be able to see the moon at that point in time as that will rise later on during the evening, but there's plenty Plenty of other things to look at if it stays clear enough. Right about now, we're looking at possible partly cloudy skies and again, as I mentioned, those chances of showers and thunderstorms into Saturday evening. So this is weather permitting and if the clouds are going to be too much, it's possible they may call this off. If you'd like to monitor this and again, get more information, memphisastro.org for more details or they're online on Twitter at society underscore Memphis, or you can, again, just email me for the details, and I'll let you know more about that. Best viewing for tonight will be a rocket body, a lacrosse for rocket body. What's left, basically a huge piece of space junk left over from a satellite launch. It'll be rising in the south-southwest about 9-12, and it'll be setting, going across the zenith of the sky and setting just after 9-20. The problem is, the good news is, it's going to be really clear out there for tonight, so great stargazing conditions after sunset, but the problem is, this is a very small piece of equipment comparatively. It's not like the International Space Station with all those solar collectors out there, so this is going to be a very dim view, but it will be the brightest thing in the sky, so if you like a challenge for doing some satellite spotting, this will be your opportunity. We'll post more about this on social media coming up a little bit later on. No severe weather in the Mid-South, but again, now is the time to get ready for it while the skies are blue and the sun is out. One good way you can do that is signing up for Weather Call. Tim and Jim will call you when severe weather threatens. All you have to do is sign up for Weather Call. Go find more at WRHE.com and click on weather for more details there. All right, one more quick check of the forecast. Under blue skies should be a beautiful day for today. Temperatures back into the lower to mid-70s and then again cooling off later on tonight into the lower to mid-50s. So beautiful conditions out there. No problem at all into around the area. So as we look throughout the rest of the uh, mid-south, so again, not too much to worry about for there. Uh, Anna Garland in Wisconsin expecting up to 8 inches of snow. 
I wonder if that's, you know, are you around anywhere close to Oshkosh? Because I know a few people uh, up and around that area. But thanks for checking in from up north and hope the snow uh, isn't too problematic up there. Morgan Wilson from Dyersburg, Tennessee. Welcome to the show for right now. Cynthia Bates, weather in Nashville, clearing out, but still some scattered showers out there. So safe travels to you as you head in that uh, general direction. And Rosie Person from Jackson, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. For today, again, and into the weekend, check out my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. And of course, I'll have more information on your weekend forecast updated coming up later this morning at about 10.45 on my Periscope, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. So stay tuned for more on that. Also, weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones out there serving in the military, we'll take a look at some weather conditions around the rest of the world to see what's going on out there as our little salute to everybody who's wearing the uniform of our country. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us for this morning. Updates on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning and as we go into the rest of the day, Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers have your forecast coming up uh, starting on News Channel 3 first at 4. Thanks for joining us. Have a good and safe weekend and keep it tuned for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.